Welcome everyone, Chuck Johnson here and Josh Groban with Channel 11 News. Tonight's story features local high school Roosevelt High and how they went from worst to first in statewide academic standings. What's their strategy, you might be wondering? Cooperative learning, which fosters academic achievement, tolerance of others, and social skills. There are many applications that are used when applying cooperative learning. Josh? So, thank you, Chuck. Cooperative learning is when students work together to master different learning outcomes. To look at some of those outcomes, let's go to Cherry over there on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Now we'll go over some of the learning outcomes of cooperative learning. We'll start out with academic achievement. When using cooperative learning, students are more, mot more motivated to attain higher academic goals. Tolerance and acceptance of others. This create, cooperative learning creates opportunities for students of various backgrounds and traditions to work together. Social skills. When using cooperative learning, students use cooperation and collaboration to attain critical real-world uh, strategies. On to you, Ned Schneebly. Thanks, Jerry. Moving on to the educational theorist that was a big proponent of cooperative learning, John Dewey who in 1916 wrote Democracy and Education. But moving on to the applications of cooperative learning for teachers who want to include this in their curriculum, in their classroom. Different approaches include STAD, Student Team Achievement Division, where students help each other by using a variety of cooperative study methods and quizzing procedures. Other approaches include Jigsaw, Learning Together, and Think Pair Share. For more information about these activities and approaches, feel free to visit teachervision.com. Josh, can you kind of bring us up to speed of what we just... Yeah, went over? so cooperative learning is when students get to work together to achieve different outcomes. Uh, it fosters social skills, tolerance and acceptance, and academic achievement. And there are several different ways that you can apply it in your classroom. Wow, interesting stuff, isn't that, Chuck? Yeah, it sure is. Cooperative learning, you know, things have sure changed since I was in school. But the 60s. <laughs> but the 60s, huh? By, on behalf of myself, Josh, and everyone here at Channel 11 News, keep up the good work, Roosevelt High. That's all we have for you tonight. We'll see you next time.